Hello, 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 and welcome Silent Hill fans. First and foremost, I wanted to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I wanted to make this video because I had to tell you about my thoughts on the new Silent Hill 2 remake. I will talk a little bit about what Silent Hill is for newcomers to the franchise, followed by the controversy of the remake. The goal here is to hopefully shed some light on all the things that are being talked about and offer a more positive perspective. I wanted to tell you why I'm certain that Silent Hill 2 Remake will be a success. It's not because we are getting a game that has improved graphics, better mechanics, a tailored game for modern audiences, nor for the simple fact to experience something unique and different. This remake will be successful because it is Silent Hill, one of the greatest horror games ever created. So, for our newcomers here who are probably wondering, what is Silent Hill? Silent Hill is a fictional town inspired by a real town located in Centralia, Pennsylvania, the United States. As a horror fan, I was super intrigued by this, although I did not learn about it until I was much older. It was said that in 1962, a huge fire broke out due to an unkept and abandoned coal mine located directly beneath the town. Local and out-of-town authorities and firefighters arrived on scene to extinguish what they could of the fire. To no success, the fire continued to spread underground and create toxic fumes that rose through cracks in the ground spreading across town leaving it uninhabitable. As a result, their townsfolk had no choice but to flee. As time went on, the town slowly wasted away and the only thing that remained were the memories of those who lived there. From the very beginning when we began to write and create stories, keep records, and teach others, there is one thing that we all have in common. We love tragedies. Whether it's through stories, poetry like Shakespeare, writing or real life experiences, we love tragedy because we all have had to deal with it in one form or another. Having the ability to relate through others' experiences gives us hope. The truth is, we have no idea why we are here. So what do we do? We try to find meaning of so-called life. A tragedy is what James Sunderland and Silent Hill 2 experienced. Silent Hill 2 is so popular because of the story it tells. Again, I'll repeat myself. Silent Hill 2 is so popular because of the story it tells. Players experience the story with driving elements from the original events that took place in the town, such as abandoned locations, the environment having a fog-like state, dilapidated buildings, roads, and specifically in Silent Hill 2, a fire. The story told is tragic. It begins with an ordinary person, James Sunderland, receiving a letter from his dead wife, Mary. James brings himself to the town of Silent Hill to hopefully find Mary in their special place. Without spoiling anything, the game tells its story through a plethora of symbolism, small encounters with other characters who are also symbolic and going through a similar experience as James. The game also introduces its players to a one-of-a-kind music composed by the legend himself, Akira Yamaoka. The way he composes his music is so good that it essentially describes what people are feeling as they experience a tragic event in their lives. With all of what I just talked about, this is what makes the game so freaking good. It had nothing to do with animations, graphics, gameplay, or what people wore, but rather what message the story itself told and how it did so. So why then is there so much controversy over this remake? This portion of the video will be heavily opinion based and just simply how I feel about this whole dilemma. To sum up what I am seeing from fans, I find it disrespectful to how they are treating Bloober team. When I first saw this team remaking one of the greatest horror games ever made, I really didn't care. I was just excited Konami was bringing back such a legendary game in the series as a remake as Capcom did the recent Resident Evil games. I personally love watching other people's reactions to video games, so when I open up YouTube to see people constantly saying, "Ew, Bloober Team, or oh no, Maria doesn't have a tattoo at her waist and no exposed skirt, I was so confused. I did research to see what other games Bloober Team made. I personally never played through any of their games. I touched Blair Witch, 
and a little of Layers of Fear, but those two games were just not my style, nor was I particularly interested in the story they told. Does that mean I hate Bloober Team for it and expect all of their future games to be bad just because I did not like some of their games? No. I mean, I enjoyed games like GTA and Red Dead Redemption from Rockstar, but I really didn't like Bully. I honestly thought Bully was boring. It just wasn't my style and it didn't fit the type of entertainment that I wanted from it. It just depends on each person's taste. You cannot please everyone all the time. Even after this, my excitement never changed. I am grateful and always will be for this remake to be happening. And this is what got me so frustrated with the so-called fans. Never thought how aggressive the fan base was. Another part of my brain wanted to just think that some of them were trolling or never played the Silent Hills or were just simply not fans of the franchise at all. It doesn't take loving every game in the franchise to be a fan of Silent Hill. One reason why it is not well received is because expectations for modern video games have increased. Improved graphics, animations, gameplay, and loads of content from games such as Elden Ring, Resident Evil 4 Remake, and Baldur's Gate 3 set the bar high for developers. Does this mean Bloober Team or other developers for that matter must be like them? No. Every developer has their own style and their own artwork. The only expectation every developer should live up to is to provide a game worth the consumer's money and time and I believe Silent Hill 2 Remake will do that. So instead of rejecting and shutting down the hard work Bloober Team did and what they have to offer, we should be more supportive and give feedback, but not in the form we are doing currently. Critiquing is one way to do so, but to completely trash talk and make jokes or complain is childish, hurtful, and destructive. Hate is the strongest emotion we can exhibit, and I do not think that is the way forward. The way forward is to provide constructive feedback. Bloober team is listening. You have seen this with their change to James. Are there other things questionable about the remake? Of course. From what I saw in the gameplay, a lot of what I did not like were small things. Yes, I'm going to say it, small things. These things will not change the way I will experience this remake, nor change my mind that it will be a success. The examples were Angela's face, Maria's outfit and character model, the walk to run animation not being smooth on James, combat animations through James, and changing the location of where James himself encountered the first creature. These are not huge deviations to the original that in my opinion will make it a failure. I want to point out that I'm not trying to be Mr. Positive here. I do see some issues with it, but my point is, it's not the end all be all. If anything, I will be able to experience the game a little differently. Faithful does not have to be a one-to-one. -one. Things should be a little different in a remake. Why would you want to play the same exact game again for $70? I would rather pop in the Silent Hill 2 disc into my PlayStation 2 and call it a day. Resident Evil 4 Remake had a lot of changes, but nobody complained then, so why now? I am sure I also found something else that was not faithful to the original, and I am surprised a lot of people did not pick up on it. James Sunderland's iconic jacket. He had some iconic patches on it that were no longer present in the remake gameplay. Such a simple detail was forgotten. Out of all the changes, this is what I was actually most upset about. But will this change my mind about its success? No, because it does not change the story. So then, what will make Silent Hill 2 Remake a fail? The answer is simple. If they deviate from the story or change it, the remake will fail. The story cannot be changed. If it deviates slightly, Bloober Team needs to tread very lightly and be careful of how they do so. This is where I would be concerned and what most fans need to be concerned about as well. Not Maria's sexual appeal, not the awkward animations, nor the bad angles at which Angela's face were animated. We all experienced the awkwardness of the original and what made the game so good was not gameplay or looks, but story. I want to challenge all the fans to look at the original and really think about what really made them fall in love with it. <coughs> the story. In my concluding remarks, I would like to tell you a little story of what made me a fan of Silent Hill. What made me a fan of Silent Hill was not Silent Hill 2, 
but rather Silent Hill 1. During that time in my life, I was just an ordinary 10 year old kid going through some struggles in life. I was living homeless with my father after my mother passed away, sitting in his friend Chuck's RV in California when I laid my eyes on Silent Hill 1 sitting next to a PlayStation. And being the horror fan that I was at the time, I decided to pop it in and give it a go. It scared the living hell out of me. However, after going through two weeks of nightmares, I popped it back in, gave it another go, played through it, and the rest is history. But as I was sitting there at that time, on that evening, with the light breeze coming in, the smell of cigarettes coming from the RV, there was something comforting about it. Everything came together and I had this really crazy experience. And ever since I thought Silent Hill was probably one of the best games I ever played. I had created this idea in my head and it stuck with me ever since. I did not play Silent Hill 2 until I was much older. When I was old enough and had more experience in video games, I gave Silent Hill 2 a go and my mind was blown once again. The tragedy James went through related to my life and what I went through personally. The story and message given in the game was so powerful that it almost felt that Team Silent Hill knew my life. As I continue through life, I experience new tragedies, and I always fall back to relating to James Sunderland and what he went through. I am no hero. I am not extraordinary. I am just a guy trying to get through life and make good memories and experience everything I have in the time I have remaining. I have had nothing but respect for this game ever since. If you stuck around this long, I really do appreciate you. I appreciate everyone who is a fan of this game even those tearing it apart. In the end, and deep down in our hearts, we all want this game to be a success. There is a lot of passion out there to make this game perfect. I believe the fans are afraid and nervous that it cannot live up to expectations set out by other developers. But that is okay. We are a unique community, and it really doesn't matter about the others and what they are doing. What matters is that we come together and support one another and support Bloober Team to give them the confidence to make this game amazing. As a huge and longtime Silent Hill fan and veteran, I am confident this game will be amazing and a success. And I think you should be too. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy your day and I am looking forward to seeing this game uh, on October 8th. And I am super grateful to be able to experience it with all of you and to return to Silent Hill. With that, I appreciate you and thank you for hanging around.